Hi, I'm Simon from The Red Ferret and this is our second episode on the man cave. Again, we're not in a real man cave right no, now. We're um, installing sauna and wellness and stuff like that. Yes, so like that. Is. So uh, next video is going to be in the sauna and wellness. <laughs> but today we're checking out the My Passport X from WD. This is an external hard drive for your Xbox One. So you connect this via USB to your Xbox. And you have two terabytes of uh, an external storage which you can use to store your games on or uh, you can game on the go, you can take this with you to another Xbox One owner um, and you have extra space for your Xbox One. So uh, we've installed it, it was pretty easy. Yeah, it was very easy. You just had to format it mm -hmm. but it only took five seconds or something so very, very easy. Now we can choose a game, uh, you can choose any game you want. And then we can install it to see how fast it actually runs. So it's 4.81 uh, gigs and it's already on 1%, which is not that fast in my opinion, but still. But doesn't it have something to do with your internet connection as well? Yeah, because as well, it's because it's, uh, it's not from the CD drive, it's no, from no, no. Uh, the internet. So, uh, it's from the internet. Yeah, it so... runs at 18 megabytes per second. So uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit until it's installed and then we'll come back to you. Um, so it was not that easy to install uh, this all, thing. <laughs> yes. um, we connected it and then we started installing, but it started installing on the internal hard drive of the Xbox One, not on the external hard drive. So you have to change it up in the settings. Yep. Um, if you want, you can show it so that the viewers can see it yep. where they have to change it. So you cannot just go to the game and then install and then have options mm -hmm. or something. You really need to go to the settings of the Xbox itself and then you have to click the storage which is in Dutch in my case, but you go to system and, and then you go to storage. storage and then you get either your internal memory or your WD drive memory yeah. and you have to set it as default. Yeah, and you then know. if you install a game, it will be installed default on the WD. Yeah. So we installed the default package of Metal Gear Solid, so it's a lot of different games and um, these, two. Yeah, <laughs> two different games. And the space on the um, My Passport uh, X drive, um, there's 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 still a lot of space left because it's I think two times four gigabytes or two times five gigabytes. No, the, the second so game is more. Yeah. It's more. Okay. It's for Ground Zeroes is something like four five gigabytes. So but let's say ten, 10, 10, no, 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 10 or twenty or something. Twenty, 20 in total. So still uh, one point eight terabytes left and there are already two games installed so yeah but well, you need to take into account though that uh, the system itself takes a bit of space for the yeah. system settings so you lose 20, 20 gigs 20 gigs yeah. or something for the system settings yeah okay but overall as you can see the game runs smooth and fast yeah um, it's the same like if you would put a disc in so uh, yeah. that's not really an issue but overall two terabytes is that enough in your opinion um, I think so. I only have 500 uh, gigabytes on my Xbox One yeah. S, which is not a lot actually. Yeah. Uh, if you think that the, that most games, if you download them, actually take something like 50 gigabytes mm -hmm. or something, you can only install 10. So that means in the uh, two terabyte, you could install uh, four times as much. Yeah. It's it says over here store, store about 50 extra games. I don't know mm, if... 50 is a bit much, Yeah, I think. it will be a bit much, but it also says that uh, it depends on the games, of course. But um, I think it's pretty easy. No sweat setup, connect to your Xbox, follow on-screen instructions to format, drive and play. Yeah. It's not that easy. Um, you need to change up the, uh, the, the settings to install it on the drive itself and not on the internal storage. Yeah. But overall... Would you recommend this thing? Yeah, I think so. Um, the 500 gigabyte uh, on the Xbox plus this makes two and a half gigabytes, uh, which is actually a lot of storage. Two and a half terabytes. Terabytes, sorry. Yeah. So two and a half terabyte uh, is actually quite a lot. It can also be used on a PC and on Xbox 360, but we even use it as an Xbox 360 right now. There may be some people, but not a lot. And. Um, is it, is it worth the price? In your opinion? Yeah, I think so. Uh, if you want the biggest Xbox, I mean the biggest storage of Xbox, you only get one terabyte max. Mm -hmm. So you have two extra here for let's say a little bit more than 100 euros in our case, uh, which is a good deal, I think. Okay, all right. So that concludes this review. Two terabytes of extra storage for $120. It works, it's fast, it's easy to install if you know how to do it. So. Um, we definitely recommend. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.